Hello my darlings, many of you have been requesting to see a prom inspired hair tutorial and I decided to make your wishes come true and show you how you can create a beautiful updo for your prom in a matter of minutes. The two hairstyles that I'm going to show you today are so quick and easy and don't require any heat styling whatsoever. In fact, if you have bed head, these hairstyles will look even better. And don't worry if updos are not your thing, I'm working on a few more prom inspired hair tutorials that I'm planning on posting within the next few weeks for you guys. And all you're going to you need to recreate these beautiful hairstyles is a few bobby pins, a few hair elastics, dry shampoo, and any hair accessories of your choice. I personally decided to opt for these beautiful pearl bobby pin embellishments. Feel free to use anything that you feel comfortable with or even try to find something that's going to match with the dress that you're going to wear for your big day. I also clipped in my 240 gram set of fancy hair extensions just to give my hair some more volume, texture, and length. So if you want to know how I recreated these easy updo hairstyles for prom, please keep watching. This first look literally took me two minutes to do and I'm not kidding. This way you can focus more on enjoying your big day than fussing with your hair. I'm going for a really effortless laid back look for these hairstyles so to add extra texture to my hair and make it look like I just threw my hair up into a messy bun, I'm spraying some dry shampoo all over my hair. Since most girls usually wear all of their hair down or up in a neat updo for their prom, the two options I'm going to show you in this tutorial are super fresh and will make you stand out in a very good way. So after the dry shampoo, you want to skip any brushing to make sure that your hair keeps its messy texture. What I like to do is separate two chunks of hair around my face before I pull the rest of my hair up. Once I've done that, I'm separating my hair into two sections at the back and very messily tying the top section into a messy bun. I'm just letting you know you will hear me say the words messy and messily a lot in this tutorial. Just a little heads up, okay? <laughs> Okay, now that I have my first messy bun, I'm further separating the bottom section into two and then creating two more messy buns with each section. Now that I have my three messy buns, I'm taking all the remaining loose hair, twisting them together slightly and wrapping them around the outside of the buns while pinning them in place with bobby pins. Once your big messy bun feels secure, you can go in and plump up each individual messy bun like I am here to give the overall look more volume. After that, you're pretty much done. Now let me show you how you can take this look up a notch and make it a little more dressier. So if you like the first look but want to dress it up more so it doesn't just look like you woke up in the morning and threw all of your hair back into a ginormous messy bun, I have another idea for you. For this look, I'm starting out by separating my two front pieces again and clipping them away so that they're not in my way. Next, I'm sectioning my hair on either side of my head from the top of my head to the top of my ear. I'm being careful not to include any of my clip-in hair extensions into these sections because it's going to look very silly for this part. I'm going to be braiding a headband braid with these sections. Since my hair is medium length and I want my braid to be able to reach the back of my head so I can combine it with my messy buns, I have removed my one clip wefts from my hair extension set and set them aside so that I can clip them into the headband braid. You only need about two to three of the one clip wefts to make the braid long enough to reach the back of your head. To begin braiding, I'm flipping the sections I will be braiding to one side and brushing it out so that all the hair is tangle free so it's easier to work with. I'm picking up a section of hair by my ear and separating it into three strands. To braid a Dutch braid, you simply want to cross each strand under instead of over like you would with a regular three strand braid. If it's too confusing for you, feel free to braid a regular three strand braid instead of a Dutch braid. I'm not going to lie, this part takes a bit of practice. Once I cross the strands under each other two times, I'm picking up hair from the outside of the braid and combining it with the strand that I'm crossing next. So for example, if I'm about to cross the right strand under the middle strand, I'm going to pick up a section of hair from the outside of the right strand and combine it with the right strand before I cross it under the middle strand. After I've done this, I'm ready to cross the left strand under the middle strand. Before crossing the left strand, I'm picking up a section of hair from the outside of the left strand and combining it with the left strand before crossing it under the middle strand. Keep repeating these steps and braid as closely as possible to your head. If you're wearing clip-in hair extensions like I am and want to add extra length to your braid so that you can combine it with your updo, I'm going to show you how I do that. So my fancy hair extension set comes with four one clip wefts that are perfect for adding length to braids. What I do is clip in two or three wefts into my hair as I braid. So this headband braid is a perfect example. I'm stopping about two inches away from the middle of my head and clipping in a one clip weft into my hair in the same direction as my braid. So if I'm braiding sideways, I'm making sure to clip in the weft sideways as well so there's no funny lumps or bumps. Once the weft is clipped in, I'm continuing to braid as usual and combining the hair from the hair extension into my braid. A couple of inches down from the first weft, I clip in another one clip weft and repeat the same steps. I usually do this two or three times for a headband braid. In this case, I'm only clipping in two one clip wefts.
When I reach the other side of my head and I have no more hair to combine from the outside of the braid, I'm gently pulling on the sides of the headband braid to add more thickness to it. You want to be very careful not to pull out too much hair, otherwise the braid will start to come apart. That's why it's really important to braid as close to your head as possible when braiding a headband braid. After that, I'm finishing off the braid with a regular Dutch braid. To combine the Dutch braid with my updo, I'm simply separating the loose hair into two sections, top and bottom, and combining the braid with the top section and tying them together in a messy bun. Once I have my first messy bun, what I like to do is let my front sections down and then add a few hair embellishments to the headband braid. For this look, I decided it would be really cute to add some small pearl embellished bobby pins to dress it up and make it more prom appropriate, but you can feel free to use anything you'd like. After I've embellished my headband braid, I'm simply repeating the same steps for the big messy bun as I did in the first look. So again, I'm separating the bottom section into two sections and creating a messy bun out of each section. With the remaining loose hair, I'm gathering it all together, twisting them loosely while wrapping and pinning them in place around the messy buns. When my big messy bun feels secure, I'm taking some large pearl embellished bobby pins and pinning them into the messy bun itself. And that's it! Two beautiful and easy updos that are perfect for prom. Which one is your favorite? All right, my love, so that wraps up my easy updo hairstyles for prom tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and found some inspiration in these two looks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below with any feedback that you may have for me. I always love reading through all of your comments. And before you go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of the latest hair tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Life is too short to have boring hair. Subscribe to my channel for endless hairstyling ideas.